to another video from Creativo Solutions. You're currently watching the support videos for the British International Distance College Accounting module. You can visit our website for more content and resources to help you and consider following us on Instagram and Twitter and keep watching the YouTube channel for more support. Our third party disclaimer. The last point is one that I want to emphasize. Creativo Solutions is a private institution and is by no way connected to the British International Distance College. Any reference made to the subject material refer to official BIDC material and we do not represent them as our own. We simply work through BIDC material with students as a means of additional academic support. So far we've been going through the first three questions of assignment number three. We're going to complete question 4 in this video, so let's begin. Question 4 is on page 39 to 40 in your assignment pack. The question states, after the bookkeeper had presented a trial balance on 30th April 2016, Tag Tim decided to draft a set of financial statements for the 6 month ended 30th of April 2016. The draft financial statements containing errors are shown below. They've given you a statement, they've given you two actually, the income statement as well as the statement of financial position. A, one says, explain using examples the difference between capital expenditure and revenue expenditure. The second part of that question says, explain using examples the difference between capital receipts and revenue receipts. And then the last question is B, Calculate the corrected profit of Tagton for the six, month, uh, six months end, 30th of April. Great. So it's interpretation. They've given you statements, and we need to now correct the statements and answer the questions that they've asked. So the first one is for A, and we're looking at number one. Number one says explain using examples the difference between capital expenditure. and revenue expenditure. So these definitions you can actually take out of the textbook. I'm going to try to explain them in my way so that you'll have an understanding of what they are, these concepts. So when focusing on capital, the word capital refers to obviously long term rather than operations, which is revenue, because capital would be the assets that we invest in that will hopefully give rise to income. So when focusing on capital expenditure, you're looking at purchasing long-term, I'm going to use the word productive assets that help generate revenue, meaning used for production purposes or operations. That's what you're looking at. So capital expenditure would be items of, example, equipment, land, buildings, machinery, etc. Those are all long-term assets because those assets are utilized within the business in order to create profit. So that's what they're asking you to do. Explain using examples. So. To explain it, you can either take the definition straight from your textbook or you could maybe use your own words to, to describe it and then give some examples like equipment, land, buildings, etc. Revenue expenditure, on the other hand, would be the costs associated with operations, i.e. the running costs, I'm going to use that word, running costs or expenses of conducting business. So example, we spoke about capital expenditure. I could have bought a vehicle, let's add that word there as well. So if I'm using the vehicle to deliver goods to try to generate income, the vehicle itself would be seen as capital expenditure because it's longer term. Okay, it's a long term asset. Revenue expenditure would be the fuel that the vehicle requires to run. Or another example could be a printer. The printer itself would be the capital expenditure. The paper and ink that's used to run the printer would be seen as revenue expenditure. So that's the cost associated with operating. So example here could be salaries and wages, 
it could be water and electricity it could be what we spoke about earlier fuel travel uh, well fuel for traveling it could be stationary it could be anything that the business would need on or, or for sorry day to day day to day operations anything so it could be the stationary the cleaning material etc anything that's used day to day to keep the business running would be seen as revenue expenditure part two of this question says explain using examples the difference between capital receipts and revenue receipts again this is looking at the long term or the short term so if I'm focusing on capital receipts we would be looking at the selling or disposal of non-current or fixed assets or non-current let's use that word non-current assets okay the long-term assets example I sell an old delivery vehicle to buy a new one the disposal the proceeds from the disposal disposal will be seen as a capital receipt because I'm actually disposing of the asset and I'm generating a form of receipt okay, a benefit that's coming in revenue receipts would be the sales or services rendered in the production of income or in the process of uh, or let's say uh, related to business related to the businesses operations operations so again it depends on what the business is doing is the business selling a product or offering a service example it could be something as simple as um, let me think sale selling books textbooks okay rendering a service could be something like a doctor um, or repairs car maintenance uh, repairs as a service Great, so those are theory questions, A, 1, and 2. Then B, 4B, says calculate the corrected profit of tag Tim for 6 months ended 30th of April. Okay, so we need to fix the errors in the statements and calculate the corrected um, the corrected profit okay so we need to go back to the statement and we actually need to see what was given here so let's first look at the income statement income statement slash statement of comprehensive comprehensive income Okay, profit and loss, other comprehensive income. Okay, obviously, again, depending on what type of um, textbook you're using, um, it will either be income statement, which is actually the older name for it, um, and then statement of of financial position, and that's what we're looking at. Oops, sorry. Go back up. There we go. Right, so in the actual question, they said, income statement, we've got fees for the period. Is that part of the income statement? Definitely. So fees for the period, I'm happy to leave that where it is because it's fees for the period and that's $14,000. Then they say sale of all equipment at book value notice that sale of all equipment if it's equipment it's not going to be part of this income statement it will be part of this the statement of financial position 
So we need to go back to the state of financial position. They've got premises at cost, trade receivables, rent received, balance at the bank, purchase of stationery. Okay, so we need to remove the sale. So sale of all equipment. This was an amount of 9,200 brackets 9,200 asterisk capital receipt not included here. So we wouldn't record it here. You would put zero here. They told you it was sold at book value. So this was sold. This was sold at book value brackets no profit or loss on sale. So again it would be zero but you wouldn't include that there. Then they said loan from sports aid. If it's a loan from sports aid it's part of statement financial position. So we'll have assets here non current and current and then we'll have total assets And then we'll have equity and liabilities. We'll have the equity. We'll then have liabilities. And then again, non current and current. And then we'll have total equity and liabilities. Total equity and liabilities. There we go. So that's what we've got for those specific statements. Okay. Assets, non current, to current, perfect. And then we've obviously got to put in those amounts. So I just read a figure loan from sports aid. The error is they shouldn't put that in the income statement. A loan from sports aid should be part of the liabilities. Non current, to current will assume long term. Loan from sports aid the loan from sports aid was an amount of what was the amount ten thousand dollars great then they said less purchase of new equipment a purchase of new equipment would be seen as an asset so that must go here equipment what was the purchase sixteen thousand eight hundred okay notice equipment is considered a capital expenditure line item not a revenue expenditure line item so it shouldn't be in the statement of um, comprehensive income then you've got general expenses that will go here happy with general expenses being here revenue expenditure how much is the general expenses minus 8550 8500 then you've got the profit. Obviously, we need to fix that just now. Then we've got statement of financial position. Premises at cost. That'll go here. The premises were worth how much? 45. Trade receivable. That will go here. Trade receivables. 1380. 1380. The next one is rent received. Okay, rent received must go here. So we'll put it in rent received. That's revenue. Um, that's from operations. So it'll go here. How much is it? 1,200. Next, balance at the bank. Ba bank balance, that's an asset, current asset. Bank balance, 5210. 5210. And then we've got purchase of stationery. Stationery is considered an expense. So we'll record that there. And the stationery amounted to purchase of stationery 110. Stationery is an expense, it'll be a negative. Then you've got loan interest paid, that's a financing cost. So loan interest paid or expense that will go here 
and the loan interest paid was 200 minus 200 and then they've said capital which is the balancing figure which is the figure that we're going to have to calculate so the first bit is to obviously work out the profit or loss profit is going to be all of those amounts adding and subtracting okay so 14 minus that plus that minus that minus that gives me that answer there which is the profit the profit gets given to the owner so that's going to be referenced in the equity um, let me rather use a color to highlight that okay equity is going to be affected by the profit okay so capital would be the balance plus the profit um, I can actually change the profit figure which okay let me put equal so equals question mark plus six three nine zero now we need to complete this side of the actual um, disclosure let, let me do this um, delete some of these okay and yeah that's fine uh, let's delete this one as well hopefully you can see all of that still yeah everything still looks fine one two and then B perfect okay so um, I need to wrap up this bit so equipment is going to stay at 16800 non-current is going to equal this plus that current is going to equal this plus that total assets will equal non-current plus current so that's what we've got there let's do this and that gives me my total then for my liabilities okay current you had nothing non-current we had 10 so we're going to have to balance it so this figure that I have here because they want us to use that as the balancing figure I'm going to have to move that there because we know that two have to be equal so this would equal to that and then I'm looking for the balancing figure which in this case would be this amount less the 10,000 gives you the equity which is going to be that figure over there so now can I work out the opening balance I could I could say this minus 6390 and that gives me 52,000 so the balance that I would have to solve for in terms of what the question asked for would amount to 52,000 okay it's just an asterisk here or uh, well, let's do the asterisk next to it asterisk here capital balance would equal 52,000 okay plus plus profit from the statement of comprehensive income which is what we had earlier and that's question number four let's have a look was there anything else here that we needed to they just said correct uh, containing errors that are shown a was theory B was calculate the profit perfect and that completes assignment number three that takes us to the end of this video thank you very much for watching and please consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be the first to find out when new videos are uploaded consider leaving a comment or a question and like the video and we'll keep creating more to help you.